Tonight, the first families are moving into trailers at Miller Park. It's the latest step in tackling the homeless crisis. Our Devin Truby gives us a site, gives us a look at the site, and she toured it today and also explains this arrangement is only temporary. Take a look inside, a queen bed for a family, couch or another bed, and dry food storage. A vast improvement to what we've had at Miller Park in the past. Previously, we have had um, vehicles where people have already been residing going into this area, as well as the safe camping area with the tents where we had so many issues in the inclement weather. So with this, we're really excited that this is something that's going to be much safer. This is the new Miller Park safe ground site in Sacramento, now filled with 17 trailers, a result of a partnership between the city and county. Up until a few weeks ago, it was filled with around 80 tents, several bathrooms, and even electricity. The site was deemed unsafe during the January storms and was ultimately shut down. At the same time. We're working on this site to provide services to up to 200 people um, in, in an area where it's able to have all the comprehensive services. The trailers are also equipped with a sink stove, microwave and TV, which won't be hooked up. Amenities that do not matter to Charles Williams. He recently moved his entire life to this small strip of gravel in front of Miller Park in hopes that he and his husband can move into one of these trailers. It would mean everything to us, you know. Um, it's, it's cold out here. You know, it's wet out here and resources are just slim. And they meet the city's target groups, those located outside Miller Park or on the WX corridor and a family. But so far, they've been turned away. What I was told is that it was actually set up for the people that was here before the storm. Nobody's came and approached us. Well, the city is working to find a site where trailers can connect to water and power. It's already poured $3 million into the project. Mm -hmm. And the county will also return to the site each week and continue to offer mental health and rehab service. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 630.